hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're new my name is Frida I make videos on entrepreneurship beauty and lifestyle videos today's video I am going to be discussing another week and also show you guys how I do my wigless testing I think I slightly show it in another video but I will show you guys how I go about testing my wig in this video so this video will be featuring CSN weeks <laughs> that's how they are called there are just a couple of companies out there carrying this week i will leave them in the description but um you can get them at 17 717 you can get them on kendall signs not all the sizes though and you can get it on hive and honey candle co so that's where my is coming from today. I did buy from this com company and I also bought it from, it's not 717, it's 1617. <laughs> I really love the way this wig performed. This is not my first time using this wig. I can literally tell you how this wig performed, but I just want you guys to see how it actually performed without me telling you. They are a little bit expensive than the regular wigs. I just want to put that out there. So if you want to use this week, you might want to factor that into your price. Before I go over to the candle that I'm testing, I just want to point some things out. So the candle I'm testing is in a Dollar Tree pumpkin jar. I saw those jars at a Dollar Tree and I decided to get some. It's not something that I will be putting on my website. I really don't think I'll put it on my website. I just thought it fit into the fall vibe. So I'll just bring it to the farmer's market with me. So I made candle in this jars about three or four days ago. Uh, I don't remember when I made these candles. Okay. So I made the candles on the third. Today is the ninth. So that is about six days ago. Um, or seven days ago. So, um, so those so this candle I have been carrying for six or seven days and I am testing it today. I am not testing it necessarily for hot throw because I'm using cocoa apricot wax and it takes two weeks to cure this wax. But I'm just testing the wig. You can test your wig the day after you make the candles or even that same day. Let's say you make the candle in the morning and the evening the candle is dry or whatever you can test your wig but you you probably won't know if the wig will give you a hot throw or not so you could test your wig ahead of time and later on if you like that the way that wig is burning you just leave the wig in your jar and let the candle cure for two weeks and then burn it again to see if you get a hot throw if you don't then maybe you have to change the wig if you're not getting a hot throw it could be from the wig it could also be maybe your fragrance or your percentage is too low or you're adding your oil at a very low temperature and it's not buying it well with the wax it could be a lot of things but the wig can be a major factor as well so i'm testing the candle now just to test how the wig perform if i do get a hot throw for me yeah if i don't i'll test it another time so i'm going to jump over to my work area and show you guys how i do it so first thing first, you want to measure the inner diameter of your jar. Do not measure the whole diameter of the jar. Measure the inner diameter and then pick your wig. I keep saying CSN but it's CDN wig. So I'm using the CDN2 here and I just take a small amount and cut it into two. Because I am not doing a power burn, I am not looking forward to my candle burning to the middle. I will do a power burn once I decide on the wig to see if the wig can burn for a long time without the jar getting overly hot. So after I take my wig, I use a toothpick and then I create two holes in the in the candle. If you're doing a single wig candle, just create one hole. And I usually just eyeball this. I don't really like overthink it. Just eyeball it. And that's what I do and then I light the candle. Then I also go and write down the time so I can keep track of what I'm doing. I usually will check this every hour just to keep an eye on it. 
because it's a video i didn't record every hour that i check it but that's what i usually do so these have been going for three hours now and it is burning very slow and it's burning very neatly uh, i do have a feeling that it's gonna tunnel when i get closer i do get a hot throw but now a hot throw everywhere but like i said I am not really looking for a hot throw, but I have a feeling I'm going to, the candle is going to tunnel, but I'm just going to keep burning it, maybe for two, two more hours, and we'll see how it will do, and then I'll blow it off, and I might burn it tomorrow as well, so we can see how the week will perform. But as of right now, I'm not feeling the week. I feel like it's not the right week for the jar. I might have to go a size up. But let's see what happens. Sometimes cocoa apricot to wax, you don't always get a full melt pool at the first bend. Sometimes you have to burn it twice. So let's see what happens. Alright guys, it's a little over 5 hours now and it's still burning just the way it's burning like i said i do feel like i'm gonna get a little bit of a tunnel um but we'll see what happens but we'll see what will happen tomorrow i'm gonna go to bed now it's like 12 midnight and i'm gonna go to bed and sleep so i'm gonna blow it off and then continue tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow you don't know. Bad man. <laughs> this has been going for another four hours now, and we still don't have a melt pool, a complete melt pool. If you guys can see on that, that side, there is still wax over there. On this side, there's still wax. On this side, there's still wax. There's still a little bit of wax on the side, too. And the wig is. It's feeling a little weak. <laughs> it feels like it's been a drown, uh, but um, it's not really drowning. But I do think I'm just going to size up because it's been eight hours and I still haven't gotten a melt pool. Oh, yesterday we did five and today we did four. So that's nine hours. So I'm going to size up. Okay guys, so that's basically the process I use when I'm wicking my candles. Uh, if one doesn't work, I do size up. So what I basically do is to go in with a heat gun and level it, take away the old wick, level the wax, and then allow it to dry. And then I, I size up my wick the next day when I'm testing. So that's basically it. But I do want to tell you guys uh, one uh, some things that I really love about this week. One thing about this week is it bend really slowly and it bends really nicely. You see how sometimes some wicks bend and then they leave your glass black? This doesn't do that. And also, uh, because it bends really slow, you get the most out of your wax. That means your customers will be able to bend your candle for a longer time. And another thing about this week that you need to note is I think it is self trimming if that's the right word to use for it I found out that when I'm using this week most of the time I don't need to trim it that being said though because you don't need to trim it sometimes when you cut it to the one fourth length you can see that your wig begins to either turn off or just um, just start to drown so try to cut this week a little bit above one for this is my opinion though from uh testing this week and what i found out and that's what i've been doing but i do advise that you test to see for yourself if you need to follow this advice so that's everything i have to tell you about this week i will leave um the suppliers in the description as well and i'll catch you in my next video if you have any video recommendation I leave them in the comments. So until next time, stay blessed and beautiful.